Yeah, we are uh, at the van. We're leaving now. See you at uh, Cancale. And just gave Bo something uh, to eat. And um, yeah, driving off again. It was uh, certainly not a bad spot to uh, spend the night and not uh, much trouble or noise from the on the ferry terminal so yeah everything's all right so driving so we're leaving Semalo behind up to Cancale na 300 meter neem op de rotonde de derde afslag I can't pass that opportunity up when we are very close it's about 15 kilometers so I hope we can get some oysters right uh, out of the sea so I'll uh, try to show you guys when we're there but uh, yeah I'll get back to you when we are close or there. Yeah, I thought um, to get you guys with us. Uh, it's a typical Brittany landscape. There are, uh, let's see if you can see any of those. You see a lot of those uh, nature stone built walls like the houses are. So, and um, just stones from the region but you see also see a lot of walls around uh, the village parts or uh, houses and farms out there yeah, that's the left but I can't turn you guys around that much kinds of uh, leaf vegetables here on the left and something that look like it has been cabbage or sprouts or something big so yeah and now I don't see those walls I was talking about we just had them and uh, yeah it's a bit more like um, here to right nice yeah when I see them again I get you guys with me yeah like a typical Brittany uh, village it is Keep my attention with it. And now we're a bit more in the new part. Volg Not deze so nice. route nog drie kilometer. Yeah. We are in Cancale. We're driving up to the coast to the sea. There's a church right in the middle with a big tower. It looks like the the the, the point is off and they just put a little one. Neem de tweede rechts. Yeah. Daarna met
It's also a camper, off-road. I believe the roof pops up. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice spot. No one can uh, close us in. We can just drive off like this. And uh, fairly close to the sea. So, just at the end of the street. Yeah, we are at Point Le Hoc. Some viewpoint. And right after we go on the back side of that building, there's a staircase down. And we go all the way there to the pier. And uh, with, with the sun, there are the market stands where they sell their oysters right off this, out of the sea. Here yeah, you see all the oyster. Uh, yeah, how you say that? Like in a. Yeah. <laughs> the fields with, with all the. where the baskets and stuff are on. I tried to film it from the other side with the sun. Uh, we are back, but we are up here now, I thought I'd show you anyway. And uh, the market stands are there, so we can get oysters right of the sea. And there's a fishing boat. Yeah, not bad. A view here. Yeah. Well, finally wanted to eat a strip of dried duck I brought with her. She didn't want that in the car either. So, uh, normally she just eats it when we're driving. But it's not bad of view to sit down here for a minute. And while we're sitting here, look, we are not far away of Mont Saint Michel. And like many times on our trip, we're going down, we gotta go up all the way back again too. And uh, we're used to it by now. In the correction, we are not at one hook, it's this one, and uh, we didn't get to go down straight away because we're just walking along this cliff. I will get down, <laughs> no worries about that, but yeah, it just takes a bit for a longer walk than anticipated. I don't mind the walk. It's just with the, with the time, but we'll see. I think we'll just go up until the, uh, some more, more Saint Michel area on the other side of the mountain. Here you can see the oyster farm and there are the little market stands, they sell them. So we'll go down. Just uh, need to go uh, to the water first with Bo because when I want to sit down with my oyster, she wants to go, wants to go to uh, the sea. So first she uh, needs to get her feet wet. And you can also see the old uh, basins they used to uh, put the oysters in. Nowadays, Bo, come back, Harry. Good, this kant, andere kant. Hey, Harry, this kant. Bo, come here, Harry. Hop. And here, terug, here, hebben, goed zo. Nou, die put them on um, metal uh, spikes and stuff. The tide is coming up. You can see that there. Nice. So we've got our plate of oysters. Bo continues uh, duck. And we're gonna eat those oysters. Five euro. Four, you say? Twelve? Yes. Can't complain about that. You, the... The shells are uh, made loose by the guy who sells them. Then you take the, the upper part and you loosen the oyster with the knife that's with it. So it's just the oyster in the shell. You don't throw out the water, you drink it with the oyster. It's, they are very, very good. Bouquet! <laughs> Who doesn't? Hey, 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 hey! Kill me! Come here! She doesn't like the oysters, but she likes the game of throwing the shells out. 
that's it finish my tour of oysters very nice very glad we stopped in Kinkau just five euros guys right off right out of the ocean great can be that lemon some people put lemon juice on the oysters but nah, I think it ruins the oyster but I do like the lemon on the side or eat it afterwards yeah very glad we stopped him and after walking around town a bit we're on our way back to the van and because you don't see them that often anymore a French squat toilet you know these we don't see them anymore not so long, many at least Driving around the bay where Mont Saint-Michel is, so at Cancale we could see Mont Saint-Michel. We were on the west side of the bay that it's located at, and now we're driving. We're getting in the, in the neighborhood of Mont Saint-Michel. It's only 15 kilometers from here. It's just past the sign, but now we're driving under Mont Saint-Michel and then up. To the east side uh, of the bay where it's located and there I uh, found a place where we could uh, I, I can see more Saint Michel to my left but it's way too much to the left to turn you guys around so you can see that but I can see it now it sticks out <laughs> so uh, yeah we are uh, just south of Mont Saint Michel now and we are continuing to the east and up north so we are on the east side of the bay we should have uh, a view of Mont Saint Michel uh, I don't know if there's place I don't believe it's a huge uh, place I found it on um, part for nine but um, yeah we'll see when there is no vacancy, then we'll probably drive on to the area of the uh, D-Day big beaches in Normandy. So we leave Brittany there. But I don't know, uh, maybe even if there is room, because we get there fairly early, uh, half past four, four, something like that. So, and if we stay there, there needs to be internet. Because we're on the countryside, right at the sea, it's one of those areas you can never be sure of. I don't need very fast internet, but there needs to be a reliable connection because when we stay there that early, I want to work tonight. So, um, yeah, we'll see. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, I don't have to bother with thinking about that right now because. We don't even know if there is room for us to stay, so when there isn't room to stay, then we probably drive on to the Normandy beaches anyway, so we'll just see. But from now, yeah, we're passing Mont Saint-Michel to the south, and um, we're heading for the east side of the bay it's uh, located in, so uh, yeah, we're... Um, Entering another region, De La Manche is on the side, the Portement de la Manche. And uh, officially a region, Normandy. So, yeah, we live in Brittany already and we are in Normandy. I thought Mont Saint Michel was still in Brittany, but it can be in that there is some lump on the region, do you know what I mean? Um, because we're just south of Mont Saint Michel now. It's right on the border, I knew that, but I believe Mont Saint Michel is in Brittany. But 
I can be wrong, it can just be in Normandy also. So yeah, we're in Normandy now. So heading up the east side of the bay will probably keep us in Normandy. So yeah, that was Brittany altogether then. That was nice. And now we're in Normandy. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Hi guys. I just said uh, yeah, we, we came on the highway now, but we were just, so I don't think this is part of that route, but um, we were just on the Voie de Liberté, the, uh, the route of, the, of uh, um, uh, I don't can't get the the um, Liberation Road, uh, um, the road, and uh, um, the Allied forces took uh, from uh, Normandy, from the D-Day, yeah, actually before D-Day, because the first paratroopers were uh, jumped, I believe, a day early. Or two days early, or in the, that early that night, something like that. But they were first, first before the, the landing on the Normandy beaches. And that route that starts um, on the, um, I believe the town is called Saint Église de la Mer. That's uh, where one of the paratroopers got caught on the church tower. So. Uh, there's still a, a, a puppet uh, with a parachute on that tower, you can uh, go and see that. But in that town, there is, um, you've got along that road, you've got those yeah, French bombs, uh, the little poles. And at, in that town, there is uh, the one number uh, zero. Of that road is in uh, in that uh, in the town, and from there on it continues uh, to Normandy and the Champagne region uh, into Belgium, uh, the Belgian Ardennes, uh, into Germany, all the way to Berlin, and um, liberation uh, route, and. Um, it also has some side, um, side tracks. I believe one goes up into the Netherlands also to Arnhem, of uh, one bridge too far. And uh, another one, I believe and that was the one we were on just before, um, goes south uh, from Normandy into Brittany. And I don't know how uh, much further south. I believe that's also. Uh, one that goes into Paris, so yeah, there are a few of those. But the main route is, let's say, from Normandy um, to the other regions up to the Champagne, the Ardennes, into Belgium, into Germany. And uh, yeah, I would like to uh, do that uh, too. That uh, it's it's on my wish list to do that with, of course, with the camper van. But there are also uh, people who do it on bicycles. But, yeah, we would do it with, uh, with the van, of course. And, um, yeah. So, and then, of course, I do some filming you know, for you guys on that uh, one. So, yeah, if you like that idea, put it in the comments. Let me know if you like that. Maybe I can put it up a bit higher on the wish list. But, uh, so, there are another few ideas I want to follow some big rivers in Europe. One is the Loire, we uh, uh, stayed at the exit in the Atlantic in Nantes, that was the Loire, but I want to follow the Loire, it's a beautiful drive along all the chateaus and uh, the river itself is beautiful, you see uh, some nice and curious bridges, uh, you get to the town of Briard where uh, Eiffel from the Eiffel Tower built a Amazing aqueduct <laughs> over the Loire, so a canal goes, the Canal de Briard goes over the Loire. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, 
so yeah and when you've got ideas of routes I could travel put them in the comments so uh, I know and I can uh, put them on my uh, on my wish list I don't know if you can see here at the sun but uh, yeah this is uh, bit of a bad road and very narrow so uh, right, there are other cars and then someone has to back down uh, because there isn't much room to uh, go beside the road because there are ditches so uh, yeah there is the Mont Saint Michel we are at the bay. It's quite windy, but not a bad spot to stay. And the internet on my phone is very, very slow and not really workable. So I'm just going to start up the Mifi router. Let's see, there's the little girl. Just start up the Mifi router, see if the French connection is better and uh, yeah let's see what we're gonna do I believe I'm, uh, at least make something to eat and see if Bo wants to eat something so yeah let's do that Yes, we are driving again. I uh, decided to, to move on. Uh, one and a half hours drive in the vicinity of uh, Aramorche Le Bain. Um, to be exactly um, Longue sur Mer. There we are, right on the Normandy beaches. I believe uh, from where we're standing on top of the cliff we can also see the the uh, sunken um, boats to create a harbor um, after um, D-Day they did that so they used uh, the, the landing vehicles to to create a a harbor uh, in front of uh, Aramanche La Bain and um, I believe uh, from Longue Sur Mer where we should be on top of a cliff we can uh, we can see them I decided to uh, drive that way because um, Tuesday evening I want to um, arrive in the south of the Netherlands because uh, Bo's got an uh, appointment in the salon on Wednesday morning. So that means uh, Tuesday I'm going to be driving all day. And uh, we are, I want to leave for the Southern Netherlands from the Reims vicinity. So somewhere in the neighborhood of Reims, uh, in the French Champagne region. We will um, be at uh, the night from Monday to Tuesday. Today's Saturday. So I've got tomorrow to drive up at least halfway to Reims. And um, then another day to get to Reims. So you know a bit what their plan is. So I chose to drive one and a half hours now what I can deduct from the coming two days because yeah it's still it was still early Volg deze route, nog twee kilometer. it's still light I feel good I had a good night's sleep last night in Saint Malo so yeah I uh, prefer to drive one and a half hours now and then uh, have that um, less on the coming days uh, to come so you know a bit what the, the plan is. There will sort of there will be a lot of driving, but yeah, it's what it is. 
and uh, yeah, you guys know how it works when there's something I want to talk about or um, I want you guys to see, and I'll uh, get uh, the camera back on.